Hi guys, so I'm so excited. The Stampin' Blends came live today. Today is November 1st and you can see how to color and wow people with dimension and shadow and depth. It's so beautiful. There's lots of great tips and tutorials that will come in your um, stuff. And this is the new stamp set, Color Me Happy, that we'll be using today. It was launched. It's got a great kit that coordinates with it. I mean, seriously, look at the colors and the metallic accents. It's gorgeous. And all of our coordinating colors match our... Um, they match our cardstocks and inks and designer series papers. It is wonderful. So contact me. I have a great option um, on how you can buy different levels of kits to different levels of your commitment. Today was our coffee and cards. Today I was over at Ragamuffin Coffee Roasters and a friend had given me this great drink coffee and make things cozy and it is perfect. I love it. It brings me such joy every time I use it. Um, and we were using watercolor. So this is a beautiful watercolor thank you card from that Color Me Happy stamp set. Let me see if it, it there you go. And um, to say I love it, it's, it's easy, it's beautiful. The rich colors of the Painted Autumn Designer Series paper um, really pulls it up with the Cherry Cobbler, the Daffodil Delight and Cherry Cobbler inks stamped with Black Archival ink pad. But I wanted to show you the difference. This is with our Stampin' Blends. So when you see the blends, you'll see depth and color, light and shadow, but the concentration of color, the beauty and depth that you can achieve is far greater with the Stampin' Blends marker. And yes, if you can see, I did add the clear Wink of Stella to the top of this card. So when you use your blends, you do need to have black Memento ink pads, and that's right here. Um, I uh, We sell it in our Stampin' Up! catalog. You'll see the full description on my blog at gettincraftystampin.com. Uh, buy the reinkers whenever you buy any ink pad. That's my biggest recommendation. And this is the Color Me Happy stamp set to say it's adorable is an understatement. So much potential and coloring. I love it. Um, and we're going to use the thank you. Because it's November 1st, thankful season is time now. So make sure you think about who you can send a thank you card, a thinking of you card, any of that. Um, and you want to make sure when you get it that it's nice and juicy and wet when you're stamping. You want a nice solid image. Just like so. I'm stamping on very vanilla ink at two inches by three and three quarters. So when you stamp and you get that rich solid image, it's gonna make it easy to color in. First of all, it's almost pretty on its own. I love the depth and the swoops of this. Right now what's so popular is the coloring in and handwriting um, classes that they teach. Actually, I'll be doing some lessons on this on my own, um, practicing. Whenever you use take on handwriting, you really have to practice for multiple days. Now this is using our Daffodil Delight and our Pumpkin Pie. You can see where I've left a little a smear of white in the middle, just to, you want your focal points to be something that looks at more round and shiny like this the light is actually hitting it so we're gonna start with the lightest color of our stamp and blends marker I looked for the paintbrush side you can see that here all the colors are listed right there on the side so this is a light daffodil you can buy them individually which is fabulous or you can buy the combo pack always store your lid there so you don't lose it so that you can um, see when you buy the combo pack, you have the coordinating products right away. I'm gonna color solid this one here, and we're gonna color with the lightest color underneath. I want to really show the lightness of the shadowy underside. The underside of your thank yous should be bright, just like so. And I have an audience today guys if you don't know it I homeschool our youngest four kids and uh, my older two are graduated once married college girls that were now successful business girls one's engaged but my younger four are um, enjoy watching mom shoot classes for you guys and videotape that let's see here we're gonna go quickly You do want a color lifter, we sell that. Um, the color lifter, well, if you make a boo-boo, you can actually remove that color. I'm gonna go just like this. And the reason I start with the lighter is that I wanna control and have less of the dark involved. Oops, 
I thought it was funny. I kept missing all these little patches when I first started coloring it this morning. And I thought it was because I was before coffee. <laughs> so put your um, marker and your lid down and then click the two together. You need to hear that click. That snap is really important. These are alcohol-based markers. And you need to have them seal airtight. So I'm going to go in and color just like so. Now, if you purchase, I will have a variety of options on my blog. You can see where you order um, the gotta have it all kit or the must have <clears throat> or just get me started. It's kind of fun to play with this. That is your key. Whenever you have a coloring technique, you want to play with it. Get more familiar with it. I've been familiar with alcohol markers for quite a few years and so it's something that's really fun and easy to do. It just takes confidence in letting the process work. Less is more whenever you're using with the dark there. And you want to try to be consistent. Where is your light source? So for, for classes, I have actually taken and put um, a stamped image where somebody will need to know where their light source is if they're really struggling to see that, which commonly happens. We get sidetracked talking and or, you know, our phones go off and we misplace what um, our life source is. And let me see here. We're going to remember if it's round, you want your image to have that great round feel. And And a shadow is rarely a straight line. You kind of want little zhuzhes with it. And then finish your little bursts of love on those thank yous. Always listen for that snap. Again, we're going to start with the light color here. This is the cherry cobbler. And you can see the light cherry cobbler is listed just like so. And you're going to look for the paintbrush side. Two sides means stubble. The crafting is awesome. And we're going to color. Don't overthink the process. I like to point that out, is just kind of go with it. If you don't like how something is, nobody knows what was in your head or your intentions. So you can um, fake them out, right? Okay, sorry, I'm trying to be a mom while I'm filming this, guys. Okay, so we're gonna go through and it's, I'm taking a little bit slower of a process to show you guys, but when I'm crafting, this is like better than adult coloring books. And when you use our Stampin' Blends, you do definitely need a paper underneath. This is our grid papers. This is actually a really old one. I've been with Stampin' It for almost 12 years, and this is 12 years old, I think. And I found a pack when I was unpacking one of my boxes from when we first moved here, and I just loved it. it made me so happy to find one of these old uh, grid papers but anything you definitely have to have it through because it does seek through it drips through and is absorbed in so you can see that there which is pretty almost on its own honestly it's kind of an abstract beauty like you're seeing it through a shadow right oopsie I'm going out of it and I'll show you with the color lifter how you can pull that up but I wouldn't worry about it even too much. It's so pretty on its own that the colors are vibrant and rich. And the cool thing is you can take them up a notch when you add the sparkle with the clear wink of Stella. Remember, you can get this whole kit right now. You can see the full tutorial on my blog at gettincraftystampin.com. Make sure you listen for that snap. Now we're gonna use the dark of the marker. Look for your paintbrush side. And go in and highlight what would be dark. Like the edges would be dark. Your corners would be dark. And I'm gonna take it down and then kind of thicken out and darken the edges, just like so. When you purchase the Gotta Have It All kit from me, make sure you have contact info and um, then I will be glad to send you five full tutorials on coloring with our Stampin' Blends. Five full tutorials that you will get to own, video tutorials that I am so excited. Talk about taking your projects up a notch and you can go over and over them with me and um, create and craft.
And these are private tutorial links with the videos. So you want to make sure that you please don't share it with others. Um, it's just for those who shop with me. But it is so much fun to create with color and depth. Just like that. And you want to find those little V's. You want to create that additional shadow. I have a slight shake. And I think it's so funny that even I can color with my slight tremor. My hands get tired. And I have pain that shoots down my arms. So, um, But I can just have so much fun with this that... Um, I can take a break when I need to, that kind of thing. Like that. Do, do, do. I love it. And once you're done with that second color, you snap that snap, you can take your light color and blend the two a little bit, which gives you a third color by layering it. You have to use the Memento Black ink pad when you are coloring with these. It's really important. It's a great ink pad, a true tuxedo black, nice and deep in depth, like so. You wanna create that shadow. And you can see I'm not going over like all of it. I'm just kind of blending the colors, creating that third layer of color and depth, just like so. Now, if you have the color lifter, I'm grabbing mine as we speak, you can actually fix any boo-boos that you have. So you can see here, I'm gonna stand while I craft this with you, where on the K it kind of splurged out. And I'm gonna use the color lifter, it's like an eraser. It's pretty cool, let me see if I can do it while standing. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in here for ya. Yes, we can get my stand to hold still, there we go. And we're going to take the lifter and we're going to go in and just remove it. Just keep making little swipes and you see it get lighter and lighter and then it goes away. Shut the front door. Isn't that wonderful? So even if you make a slight boo-boo, you can lift that color right away. And your heart's not broken if you are a person who struggles with coloring. One of my friends was saying that she struggles with coloring and that she felt this gave her more control than the water coloring because she can go in and do these little lifts if she need to. And Jerry's a really great colorer um, and she's a really wonderful crafter and a heart of gold. But I get her point, like it's fun to get this definite and it may look dark right there, but it's just gonna dry. Make sure it clicks every time. So, you end up with this really beautiful multi-tonal card, just like this. Let me pull it back. This is your water coloring, which is beautiful on its own. This is your blends. I hope you enjoyed this fun tutorial. Remember, you can see more on my blog at gettincraftystampin.com, and you can order all these awesomeness today. Isn't that wonderful news? Make sure you grab your kits and you get the best deal of all. You can see them on my blog. I break it down for you. And then let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.